Hello, for today you might want to grab a piece of notepaper, some plain A4 or maybe a flashcard because we're looking at nutrition and we're going to do a nice little summary of the types of nutrition the body needs and why it needs it. This is for key stage 3 biology. So the first type of nutrition we're talking about is one of the food groups. These are the carbohydrates. Carbohydrates. And these are really important for the body because they provide a source of energy. In fact, they are the main source of energy in the body. The main source of energy for the body. There we go. So we can actually split these up into two types of carbohydrate. The first type that we should try and remember, we call the simple carbohydrates, and these are the sugars. And the second type we call the complex carbohydrates and often referred to as starch. So we have simple carbohydrates and complex carbohydrates. And we can look at examples of where we get each of these. So the sweet uh, kind of food that you might have is part of the sugars, the simple uh, carbohydrates. And the complex carbohydrates are found in things like potatoes, uh, bread, pasta, rice and these kinds of foods. The complex carbohydrates release energy a bit more slowly than the sugars do. So these are the carbohydrates and very important in the diet. The second one we want to look at are the proteins. So protein is really important in the body and the role of protein is for growth of new tissue. So in other words for growth in general because we make new cells and new tissue using protein. But also, if we hurt ourselves, we need to repair damaged tissue as well. So the proteins provide a source of nutrients for growth and repair. And we can find uh, proteins in a variety of different foods, including meats, fish, eggs, also in beans and nuts, and some other dairy as well mainly milk to be honest, but um, yes, we can find protein in these kinds of different foods. Next, let's take a look at a food group called the lipids. Now the lipids are basically fats and oils, fats and oils. And these have a role in the body as well. They provide a source of energy too, just like the carbohydrates. They tend to have a little bit more energy in them than carbohydrates do, and they tend to be more often a source of stored energy in the body. And we can get fats and oils or lipids from things like butter, milk has some, but also eggs as well. You might find some uh, lipids in nuts as well as uh, butter, milk and eggs. The next one we want to look at are the vitamins and minerals. Vitamins and minerals. Now these don't really provide energy, but they do provide small amounts of nutrients to keep the body healthy. So they're needed in small amounts, only in small amounts, but they keep the body healthy. So needed in small amounts for a healthy body. And if we think about the vitamins, Examples of the vitamins include vitamin A, vitamin B, vitamin C. There's also D and E, so there's a whole bunch of vitamins that we need for a healthy body. And if we think about the minerals or the mineral ions that we need, two examples are calcium, needed for strong bones and teeth. So you must get plenty of calcium in your diet. And also iron. Iron is needed for the healthy functioning of red blood cells. It helps them to carry oxygen. So these are the vitamins and minerals, very important as well as part of your diet. The next one we're going to look at is something called dietary fiber. Sometimes we just call it fiber, but here I've called it dietary fiber. And this is important because it helps your body to remove feces. Helps to remove feces. And feces is the science word for poo. So these can be removed more easily from the body when you have a diet that has plenty of dietary fiber. And we can get this from any type of food that is plant-based. So fruit and veg. Fruit and vegetables are a very good source of dietary fiber. 
And finally, we're going to look at one final source, and that is water. This is sometimes included as part of our nutrition. And water is really, really important. It's required for a whole variety of different things, but we can just summarize it as being needed for the healthy functioning of cells. The cells in your body will function healthily if they have plenty of water. The body, in fact, is mostly water. The body is mostly water. And depending on where you read about it, it's about 60 to 70% water. That squiggly line there in front of the 60 means approximately. So approximately 60 to 70% of the body is water. So there we go, all the different nutrients that your body needs, probably worth highlighting the different kinds. So we've got our carbohydrates, we've got protein, the lipids, water, dietary fiber, vitamins and minerals. There we go, so very useful probably to put onto a little revision card or a A4 piece of paper. You might even wanna do some little diagrams. They're not totally necessary, but sometimes they help as a little memory trigger, so I've just got a few there. There's some bread, or supposed to be some bread. Fish as part of our protein. Lipids, I suppose we can just do a little bit of butter there. Water, a little splash of water. Vegetables, that's supposed to be some broccoli. Maybe a carrot. There we go, there's a carrot just as a little memory trigger for our different uh, food types or sources of our different food types. Okay, so this should fit nicely onto an A4 sheet of paper or a revision card, a flash card for reference for later so you don't have to watch the whole video again. And very important as part of other topics that you're gonna learn in biology. So that's it for today. Thanks for watching and I'll see you soon.